All right, guys, so the white bass run has finally wind down to a close here. Came out here today, uh, caught two fish. I'll flash up a picture of one of them here. Um, but something I want to talk about today is something that you don't hear a lot. You hear a lot of the people that come out here and they fish for these white bass. They talk about how great they are. You know, I've done videos where I've cooked them and shared some recipes, and you can go check those out. But something that you often don't hear talked about is fish consumption advisories. And so currently, Kentucky actually has a statewide fish advisory, and then there are also fish advisories by different bodies of water. Like, for example, the Ohio River is going to have different guidelines than fish out of like Taylorsville Lake or something of the sort. So what I want to do is flash up this chart here and talk through it with you guys. So here we have the chart. It's pretty simple here. You've got the species on the left, general population there in the middle, and then to the right of that you have sensitive population, and then you have the contaminant on the right that is the reason for the regulation on how much you should eat per month or per week. So on the species side you have the predatory fish, so obviously fish that eat other fish. So, you know, fish that fall in that one would be like largemouth, smallmouth, spotted bass, white bass, like we're talking about in today's video. And then below that you have the bottom feeder fish and panfish, and then all other fish. And so you can see there in the general population for predatory fish is one meal per month. So if you are eating white bass, you do not want to exceed one meal per month if you're in the general population. I will link the links to these down below in the description and you can go check them out. And like I said before, there are specific regulations for different bodies of water like the Ohio River. After looking over that chart, um, you know, you can realize that, you know, there are some hazards when it comes to consuming these fish and you really need to be cognizant of how many meals you have per month um, you know how many servings of you know and each serving is only eight ounces of fish which really isn't that much um, so you don't want to just be like eating these you know four times a week um, and you know and that's basically because of those contaminants and those contaminants build up in your system over time so I did want to share with you this great organization here, and that is Kentucky Waterways Alliance and their mission of protecting, restoring, and celebrating Kentucky's waterways. Um, I went to a fashion show that was for benefiting and supporting this organization. Yes, Rhino Joe went out to a fashion show, completely out of my element, but it was a lot of fun and I learned a lot about the organization. Um, but some that I learned while I was there is that Kentucky actually has over 90,000 miles of waterways, which is only second to the state of Alaska. So super cool fact, but we are very blessed here in Kentucky. Um, I was going to share the speech um, from one of the executives that they did at the event, but unfortunately, it had music in the background, and if I share it on here, I might get a copyright strike, so I chose not to. So I will link their page down below. Go check them out, get involved, and uh, help protect our waterways. Hopefully this video added value to you guys, and I just want you guys to be educated and know that you know that there are some risks whenever it comes to eating anything but honestly like most of the food that you buy nowadays is pumped full of all kinds of different you have like different pesticides you have you know a lot of the meats that we have are like pumped full of hormones and all kinds of additives and stuff and i just want you all to be educated when it comes to what you all are putting in your bodies um, if you all have any comments or questions please leave them down below and i will make sure like i said to link um, the fish advisory page for the statewide fish advisory and then the kentucky department of fish and wildlife page um, so that you all can reference that and make sure you're making smart choices for you guys and your family when it comes to what you eat but as always you could always just come out catch these fish and throw them back you don't really have to keep them um, but and you could still come out here and have a good time but uh, just I hope you guys have had a really good spring so far and uh, let me know in the comments what you've been catching, what you've been catching them on 
And as always, guys, don't forget to get outside, do something awesome, and take somebody with you if you get a chance.